Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, July 30, 2022, Saturday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. Personal Reflection Do we have the courage to speak up in front of others when we observe an improper situation? Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video's content. Please share with your friends. Please share on Facebook, WhatsApp and Telegram groups. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Please help us grow our channel by offerings. Thank you. First reading, a reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 26, verses 11 to 16 and 24. The priests and prophets said to the princes and to all the people, This man deserves death. He has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah gave this answer to the princes and all the people. It was the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and city all that you have heard. Now, therefore, reform your ways and your deeds. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God, so that the Lord will repent of the evil with which he threatens you. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me what you think good and right. But mark well, if you put me to death, it is innocent blood you bring on yourselves, on this city and its citizens. For in truth it was the Lord who sent me to you to speak all these things for you to hear. Thereupon the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve death. It is in the name of the Lord our God that he speaks to us. So Ahikam, son of Shephan, protected Jeremiah so that he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Rescue me out of the mire. May I not sink. May I be rescued from my foes and from the watery depths. Let not the flood waters overwhelm me, nor the abyss swallow me up nor the pit close its mouth over me. Your response, Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Your response, Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own, who are in bonds, he spurns not. Your response, Lord, in your great love, answer me. The Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her 
whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. In today's first reading, we learn that the prophet Jeremiah was prepared to die in exchange for carrying out the Lord's instructions. Jeremiah publicly denounced the city, the priests and the prophets while being led by the Lord and he demanded his execution. The reading for today challenges us to have Jeremiah's courage to speak for the Lord and to cultivate in ourselves a desire to stand up for what is right, even if doing so may have negative consequences. Yes, it is challenging, but if we are honest in the little things, starting at home, it is undoubtedly possible to be honest in the bigger things. Again, even when our family does not pay attention to or accept what we have to say, we do not give up or roll over. We continue to preach with fervor and hope. When we are prayerful people, we will be able to handle this opposition. Let's ask God for the ability to think and feel like children so that we can treat everyone with the respect they deserve as God's children. No matter what people will say things about us, let's pray for the assistance of the Holy Spirit as we travel through life. Speaking truth to power is never simple as the reading from the Gospel for today emphasizes. What we observe in John the Baptist's life is that it always comes at a cost. Although the cost was high for him, he was willing to pay it even though it meant losing his life. Lord, I ask for the bravery and discernment. I need to speak up for what I think is right and to always act morally. Prayer. We are grateful to you, Lord of life and truth, for enlightening us to the fact that we are destined to suffer when we fight for justice. Lord, we ask that those in authority Make the right choices to support the peaceful coexistence of the general populace. Lord, help us to have strong hearts so that we can truly live out your principles in this troubled world. Lord, we also think of those who endure injustice due to the arrogance of others, their poor judgment and their broken oaths. Give them your Holy Spirit so they can distinguish between right and wrong. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.